This is a quick tutorial on using CloudRF to site a Starlink ground station. So we've picked a farm here, it's a rural farm surrounded by large trees with irregular sized buildings. So it provides a nice variety of locations, good and bad, for placing our Starlink dish. Now we could walk around this farm uh, with the Starlink app and uh, test all these locations but we haven't got the time. So what we're going to do is click best site analysis at the top here and we're going to draw a rectangle around the farm. We're setting the receiver height to be high, to be higher than any other obstacle to get a steep angle of incidence and we're setting diffraction off uh, because we want to see line of sight. Now best site analysis uh, works by testing hundreds of locations at once and then grading them to find out who the best one is. I'm left clicking uh, to denote the boundary and I'm deliberately going wide to capture all these potential obstacles. I right click to finish. Best site analysis is computed and we have a heat map already. I can pull this slider to open up the heat map and have a look at um, all the coverage down to about 53% probability, uh, but I'm really interested in the top sites. So let's pull that back to where it was and start investigating our farm. Well, as expected, uh, the roofs of the buildings are good candidates. Uh, what may come as a surprise is the grass garden to the south is actually also quite a good place uh, to put your dish. Uh, you might put it there with the long 75 foot cable. If we look at this roof in the middle, it's the same height. Um, however, the west end of the roof is preferable because it is further away from the line of trees uh, running north to south here, which will block line of sight. So this is the best site analysis tool in CloudRF and you need a gold subscription to use this as it requires a GPU.